Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTKB Foundation level sample paper discussions where we are talking about what are the tips and tricks and best way to handle the exam questions during the examination. As a part of this particular tutorial, we are still in chapter 3 and looking forward to cover the remaining two questions of this particular chapter. So let's get started. And the next question we have on our list is question number 17, which talks about the review. So the question says, review the review being used in your organization have the following attributes. That means they've given you the characteristics of the type of review which they are trying to conduct. And of course, at the end, they want to know what is the review type. So the characteristics are well described here. There is a role of scribe. Then the main purpose is to evaluate quality. The meeting is led by author of the work product. And then this is individual preparation. And there is individual preparation. And also a review report is produced. I think if you remember our tutorial has clearly told you that we highlighted the unique points about each type of review. And other than that, many things can be commonly found in different types of review. So again, no further discussions because you have been through the tutorials. If not, go and watch that, okay? Because that would give you all the answers what we are talking about. So unique points about each of these review type would help you to pick up the answers very quickly and confidently here. So do not ignore the uniqueness because some of the command commonalities will be always there in all the types of review. So the straightforward, and very to the point, we had one point mentioned here as an attribute which said that the meeting is led by author of the work product. As far as I see this particular point, I should never be worried about any other point because this is a unique point about the walkthrough. Because in walkthrough, author is someone who is leading the review. When it comes to informal, there are no leaders. It's just between two people. When we talk about technical and inspection, uh, it is led by a trained moderator. So that's something which happens only in walkthrough where author leads the review, but nowhere else. Whereas if you talk about scribe is a mandatory role uh, in walkthrough as well as technical review and inspection. Same way if you talk about uh, review report is being prepared, we talk about that as a uh, review, uh, sorry, walkthrough, technical and inspection also. So, you know, there are all the other points which are very, very common in multiple of them, like more than two or one. But walkthrough, is led by author is something which is very unique about walkthrough. So remembering the unique points from the discussion would help you to easily come to the conclusion. In fact, if this question is asked to you by match the following also, unique points will only help you. So if in case you have not paid attention to it, go and watch the tutorial once again so that it can save your time. So very to the point, the right answer to this question is B, walkthrough is the right answer just because it has a unique point mentioned. The meeting is led by author. Okay, so let's go to the next question here. The next question is question number 18. And the question number 18 is talking about which of these statement is again not, not a factor that contributes to successful reviews. So we had the list of factors discussed in the syllabus tutorial. So we have the list of things which should be followed, like selection of the review types. People are not something who should be judged. Then we should have meeting etiquettes being followed and management should support the review, X, Y, Z. There are so many things which we discussed as a part of the factors influencing the success rate of the review process. So these are directly related to option. So we cannot bring any context in. So we have to read the options to judge which of the following is not a benefit or sorry, the review success factors for the review. So let's read the options. Option A says participants should dedicate adequate time for the review. Yes, that's one of the success factor because management may offer you three days of time to go through the documentation and you do last minute preparation. No, that's not what exactly is, is a success factor, right? The team should allocate the given time to them to find as many defects, potential questions, doubts, clarification related to that information throughout this duration given to them. So yes, they should utilize this time given to them. So that's a benefit. B, splitting large work products into small parts to make the required effort less intense. Exactly. We do not try to take a bigger chunk of work at a time. In fact, from the principles of Agile also, you can understand this. We break a bigger chunk of work that is epic into multiple smaller stories. And small here simply means that it should be as small as possible that one person can handle it, right? So we always try to simplify our work 
in terms of handling it better. And that's where it is again one of the success factors that if you break your bigger chunk of documentations into small pieces and then take it at a time. Okay. On the other hand, C participants should avoid behavior that might indicate boredom, exasperation, or hostility to other participants. This uh, straightforward thing means that uh, we are talking about uh, hijacking the meeting, basically like the seniors not letting juniors talk or, you know, the other participants are not basically able to contribute effectively to the session. So it, it, it becomes a challenging part for an organization to lead with a success rate for the reviews. So it is very crucial that the team <clears throat> gives enough time and environment for everyone to talk because it's about everybody's contribution. So the, if we take care of this, that means the participant should avoid avoid as we say the word avoid these behaviors it will lead to success of the review right so it's a benefit not something other way around right so it will be a benefit because we give a perfect environment for everyone to talk and in case you are hearing that melody coming right from the side i have a hummingbird <laughs> creating my mirror so sorry i cannot do anything about that anyways uh, when we come to d uh, the failure found should be acknowledged, appreciated and handled objectively. That's again amazing. One of the benefits which we can talk about. But hold on. Did we say the first word as failure? Look at this. We never can think about the failure as a keyword and, you know, distracting us to pick up that as the right answer. Remember, failures are only observed in dynamic testing. Okay. Failures are only observed in dynamic testing, not in static testing. Static testing, we have direct effects, not failures resulting into root cause analysis and so on and so forth. And that is where if you see this option one more time, failures found should be acknowledged, appreciated and handled objectively. The rest of the part is perfectly fine, but static testing does not result into failure. Failures are only identified during dynamic testing when we run the system with help of our test cases. And that is where making it one of the right answers in the entire list. Otherwise, you would think if you don't pay attention to such words very carefully in this context, you would never think that there's any right answer. Okay, so yes, the right answer for this particular question is D, that is failures found should be acknowledged, appreciated and handled objectively is not a factor which influences the success rate of the review. And the only reason is the word failure that does not deal with static testing. And put together, that's all the questions what you will have from the chapter three. We have four questions discussed and rest we'll discuss in the other set. So that's all makes it very clear with the tips and tricks related to it. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.